Yeah, okay. I'll show you another. I'll show you one video how to export your tracks onto your Prime Drive, whichever drive that you're using your Prime. But there's another way which I use, and I find this way a bit, a little bit more simple. Okay. So basically, just say this is the, this is my USB stick that I use on my Prime Gear on my Prime Four. Or, um, should I say yeah on a Prime Four? So if I want to use if I, this is my normal stick that I use, and I just want to add some tracks onto it. There's a simple way of doing it. So I'll just plug it in and you should see it appear on my computer. There we go. I'll open up Engine DJ. And then I'll go to Drives. And you can see it there. Prime USB 64. This is checking device. I don't know why it's saying that. But anyway, okay, so there we go. So, on here, it's got some tracks already in the collections, a few tracks, and it's got a playlist. This is earlier on, I exported these on, I used the export, but to me, this is a much easier way of doing things. So, say for example, I want to create a new playlist on here, I go to play it. I create a new playlist, playlist number two. I'm going to drag some tracks onto here. I'll drag this one. I'm going to drag this one and that one. Oops, this one, that one, and that one. So all I do is drag it in here. Okay. Then I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to analyze them. so they're analyzed as you can see it knows the bpm knows the key of each track so i'm just gonna add some cue points on here oops it's trying to drag three at once that doesn't work one at a time so there you go i'll put one cue point there i'm gonna put another cue point to say i don't know let's see just randomly i'm just gonna put another one here Okay, two. This one, I'm going to put a cue point at the beginning and on the first beat. Two. This one, drag it in, a cue point at the beginning, and I'm just going to put a cue point, I'd say, there, just for the sake of it. Okay, so once that's done, I can simply eject that. Let's see what jobs are running. No jobs are running at the moment. So eject that. Eject. And it's out. So it's out in engine. It's out of the computer. Ah, plug this out. I'm going to plug it in here. And you should see it pop up on here. So there we go. Prime USB 64. So there we go. So now we have playlist two. And then we have our tracks on here. Let's see if it all went through properly. Ah, we've got one with the cue point. Yep. Let's try and track number two. It's got the cue points here. There we go. Let's try one more. There we go. Okay. And that's a simple way. To me, that's much easier than doing the export way. Yeah. You just go, just put it directly onto the drive. Yeah. Just deal with the drive directly. Yeah. To me, that's the most easiest way. Okay. Because when you make the changes on, if you make any changes, like adding cue points while, you, while you're playing, while using your prime gear, it will upload on here. Like, for example, I just added this one by accident. So, if I eject this now. Eject anyway. And I plug it back in. You can 
see. It should show back up in here. All right, here we go. So it might check it or something. Oh, it shows up straight away. So I added like a wild one here, and there we go. That's it. This is one. Ooh, I've just changed the order. So now we had that fifth cue point that I pressed by accident. Yeah. So you don't have to sync it back. It everything's just there when you work on that drive. But as I said before, make sure you back up all the time. Yeah. So if it pops up when you close an engine, um, it, uh, would you like to back up? Please, please, please back up. And it's very easy to restore as well. It's just a couple of files. I might show you that in another video. Okay. But this is, um, yeah, how to get your tracks on. So before we use the export um, way. And this one is just straight drag and drop onto the drive using the Engine TJ software. Okay. I hope it helps. All the best.